Plates. Welcome to this week's homework, which is looking at triangles by angles. Our first page is a refresher from last week, making sure that we remember the different types of vocabulary. Remember that we need to label our models because everything gets a name based on its points. If you have trouble this, please go look back at your picture dictionary. If you have any trouble locating that, have your grown up send me a message. So a line is a double go. It goes on forever in both ways, both directions. We're going to give it two points and I'm going to call it D E. Remember, we can pick anything to label our points. An acute angle is so cute and little like grandma pinching your cheeks. We're going to give it three points. It is an angle less than 90 degrees and I'm going to call this X, Y, Z. Down here, I need a ray. A ray has a stop and a go. I'm going to call this S T. Remember, two rays together at a shared vertex make our angle. I have a right angle, which needs to have a 90 degree squared corner. It must measure exactly 90 degrees, and I'm going to call this angle A, B, C. For my triangle, there's lots of options because there's different types of triangles, but in order to meet this rule, I need to draw a three-sided shape and it needs to be closed. I'm gonna name this triangle M, N, O. And then my last one on this page, an obtuse angle, a vacation angle. Imagine that you are relaxing in a hammock on the beach. And I'm gonna name this angle uh, L, A, C for Lisinski. Any questions on these, bring them with you to class. All right, so faces, we are looking at types of triangles. We need to decide whether it's acute, right, or obtuse based on the angles. As a reminder, an obtuse triangle has one angle that is 91 degrees or bigger, just one. A right triangle has one angle that is 90 degrees on the nose, and an acute triangle has all angles that are 89 degrees or less. So for right or obtuse, one angle makes the choice. For acute, they all have to meet that requirement. So this angle is over 91 degrees, which means that this is an obtuse triangle. Over here, we have 75, 40, and 65. They are all less than 89. So this is acute. Over here, as soon as I see this 90 degree angle, I don't have to look any further. This is a right triangle. I have another 90 degree angle. I don't have to look any further. This is a right triangle. 55, that's 89 or less. That's 89 or less. That's 89 or less. This is an acute triangle. And this one, as soon as I see that angle that is 91 degrees or more, I know that this is obtuse. Any questions, bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, we are looking for the missing angle. You're going to identify the type of angle that is missing. And remember, there should be a total of 180 degrees. So when we are solving these, we need to first add up the angles we are given. Once I do that, I need to subtract that from 180 degrees because that is how many total degrees I need in my triangle. So this angle is 75 degrees and it is an acute angle. Again, we're naming the angle. It's an acute angle. So I have 90 degrees and 45 degrees that are given to me when I add that up. I have 135 degrees. I need 180 degrees. When I subtract, I'm left with 45 degrees. This angle is an acute angle. Over here, I have 80 and 15 given to me. When I add them, I get 95. I need 180 in total. Double borrow with this, so be careful. My leftovers are 85 degrees. This angle is acute. I have 50 and 15 together. That gives me 65. I need... 180 degrees in total. That means my leftovers are 115. This angle is obtuse. Two more. 
I have 65 and 25, which gives me 90. I need 180 degrees. My angle is 90. That means that this angle is a right angle. Last one on this page, I have 130 and 25, which means in total I have 155. Sorry about that, kiddos. I need 180, which means my leftover angle is 25 degrees. This angle is acute. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, kiddos, the next page, page four, is circling the two correct triangles. So each of these pictures have four triangles. Two of them meet the rule. So I'm looking for two acute triangles. This right here is a right angle. This right here is an obtuse angle. So my correct triangles would be these two. I'm looking for right. This is obtuse. These are acute. Both of these are right, specifically those angles. I'm looking for obtuse. This is right. These are acute. These two triangles are obtuse. I'm looking for right. I see acute. I see acute. These two meet my rules. I'm looking for obtuse. I see a right, I see a cute. Ooh. These two are correct. Over here, I'm looking for a cute. This is obtuse, this is right. These two are cute. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, my loves, last page where we are identifying what type of triangle it is and we're circling the angle that helped you decide, okay? So if I look at these, actually all of these angles help me decide because in order to be an acute triangle, all three angles have to be less than 90 degrees, so 89 or smaller. For this one, this angle helps me decide that this is a right triangle. For this one, all three help me decide that this is acute. This one helps me decide that this is obtuse. This guy helps me decide that this is right. And this one helps me decide that these are obtuse. Any questions, bring them with you to class.